Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most advanced and stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicles in the world, the Northrop Grumman X-47B. The X-47B is a demonstration unmanned combat aerial vehicles or UCV designed for aircraft carrier-based operations. It was developed by the American defense technology company Northrop Grumman as part of the U.S. Navy's unmanned combat air system demonstration program. The X-47B is a tailless jet-powered blended wing-body aircraft capable of semi-autonomous operation and aerial refueling. The X-47B first flew in 2011 and since then, it has performed a series of groundbreaking tests and demonstrations. It was the first UCAV to take off and land on an aircraft carrier, the first UCAV to perform autonomous aerial refueling with a tanker aircraft, and the first UCAV to integrate with manned aircraft on a carrier deck. The X-47B has also demonstrated its ability to operate in a high electromagnetic interference environment and to communicate with a carrier using a secure data link. The X-47B is an impressive example of how unmanned systems are transforming the future of warfare. It shows how UCAV can perform complex and dangerous missions that would be too risky or costly for manned aircraft. The X-47B is not intended to be a production aircraft, but rather a technology demonstrator that will pave the way for future carrier-compatible unmanned systems. The U.S. Navy plans to use the lessons learned from the X-47B program to develop a new UCV called the MQ-25 Stingray, which will provide aerial refueling and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities to the carrier strike group. The MQ-25 Stingray is a result of a long and complex development process that started in 2006 when the U.S. Navy began its efforts to create a carrier-based UAV that could perform stealthy strike missions against enemy air defenses. However, over the years, the requirements and priorities changed, and the focus shifted to creating an aerial refueling tanker that could extend the range and endurance of the carrier-based fighters, such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet, the EA-18G Growler, and the F-35C Lightning II. The MQ-25 Stingray was officially named in 2016 after four companies received development contracts, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. In 2018, Boeing won the contract to produce four engineering development model aircraft for testing and evaluation.
the first MQ-25 prototype called T-1 flew for the first time in 2019 and since then it has accumulated more than 125 hours of flight time demonstrating its aerodynamic performance and software capabilities. One of the most impressive achievements of the MQ-25 Stingray was in 2021, when it became the first unmanned aircraft in history to refuel another aircraft in flight. The MQ-25 T-1 successfully transferred fuel to an F-A-18 Super Hornet, an E-2D Hawkeye, and an F-35C Lightning II, proving its ability to perform its primary mission of aerial refueling. The MQ-25 can deliver up to 15,000 pounds of fuel to four to six aircraft at a range of 500 nautical miles, which is a significant improvement over the current situation where about 20 to 30% of the Super Hornets are used as tankers. The MQ-25 Stingray is not only a tanker, but also a versatile platform that can provide intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance and communications relay capabilities to the carrier strike group. The MQ-25 has a wingspan of 51 feet, a length of 38 feet, and a maximum takeoff weight of 54,000 pounds. It is powered by a Rolls-Royce AE 3007 and turbofan engine that provides 10,000 pounds of thrust. It can fly at speeds of up to Mach 0.8 and altitudes of up to 40,000 feet. The MQ-25 Stingray is designed to operate from existing aircraft carriers using existing launch and recovery systems. It has a tail hook for arrested landing and a nose gear launch bar for catapult launch. It also has a deck handling system that allows it to be moved around the flight deck by a single operator using a wireless handheld device. The MQ-25 is controlled by a mission control system that is located on board the carrier or on shore. The system allows the operator to monitor and command the aircraft during all phases of flight. The MQ-25 Stingray is expected to achieve initial operational capability by 2025 and eventually replace the F-A-18 Super Hornets as the primary aerial refueling asset for the carrier air wing. The U.S. Navy plans to buy at least 72 MQ-25s over the next decade, with a total program cost of about $13 billion. The MQ-25 will enhance the capability and versatility of the carrier strike group by providing more fuel, more range, more persistence, and more options for the warfighter. That's all for today's video about the X-47B and MQ-25 Stingray. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.